What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianca Nader Zone, where we're going to talk about, Allegri saying, potentially, that's been put out there by maybe Allegri's greatest defender, and ironically enough, the director of Tutto Sport, the biggest quote-unquote Juve newspaper out there, which makes it even more funny, does it, is it more of, he's losing the battle, you know, because he backed him, and he refused to say, oh, he's going to leave, and now he's leaning towards it, but also putting a little bump underneath and saying, hey, don't be too happy. Could be, but that's what we're going to talk about because potentially it is an option that Malta's not coming and Allegri's going to say, or Allegri's going to leave and Malta's not coming. So that's what we're going to talk about. Before we do that, like the video, subscribe, and let's go. Okay, so like I said, Guido, Tuto Sport Director, basically said that it feels kind of impossible to think that Allegri is going to stay next season. However, he said, we had the same feeling the previous year, which is true, and nothing happened. And he also said, Mota could stay at Bologna. Bologna are trying to convince him, hey, if you get us into the Champions League, do one more season, and then you take your jump. Then you take whatever you want to do. Then you move on, because we have a project right here, and we like what you're doing, so we want to go with it. That's basically the news. Romeo Gressi went on Ju Juventus and had the following to say. He said, the entire football world assumes that Thiago Motta will reach an agreement with Juve, so there are two options. Either the club has been clever at misleading everyone, or he's a chosen one. Is everything ready between the parties? He was asked. He said nothing is certain until the contracts are signed. I hope for more concrete news after the Coppa Italia final, which makes a lot of sense. Then the season is basically over. Unless you're not making Champions League football, you're fighting uh, for it until the end of the day, which could be very possible in our case, actually extremely highly likely, even in a manner that we're actually out of it and we just need to hope other teams drop even more points on the final day. Like... A couple of seasons happened ago with Napoli and uh, Ver uh, Verona with Faragone scoring and we beating Bologna, ironic ironically enough, on the final day. I think it was 3-0. However, he's basically saying nothing is certain. And he's right after the Felipe Anderson news, nothing is certain. But I've said it many times. He feels like he's a chosen one. It feels like that's what the media is putting out there, basically. However, things can happen. Things can change. You know, and nothing is certain until it's official. And that's also the case with the, with this one. However, there can be no way that Allegri stays on because when we go out there as a team, it feels like we put 11 players out there. We just picked up on the street, do not know each other and go out there like they're on trial and show off their own skills, not holding teammates in regard, not taking whatever teammates do in consideration, not playing together. Like, that's how it is right now. That's the feeling right now. That's how everybody views that team. Even Guido, who has been the biggest supporter of Allegri, is looking at it and saying, and we all agree that the players are not good enough. However, the coach has no grip on this team. The coach has completely lost it. The coach has no clue to galvanize that squad and like let them pull in the same direction. The club is looking at this and is saying, okay, we get that the quality is not up to standards, but it's been so poor lately and not even on quality, like just the mentality, the mindset, everything has been so poor that there's no way you can think that next season he can turn this around because we're not going to sign 10, 50 new players. A lot of these players are still going to be here. A lot of these players who are just not good enough or are good enough but are just having a down season. They're still going to be here, a lot of them. We cannot replace everyone. So you're just going into the in, into the mindset of, ah, he's going to need to get the same players who are not doing it now up for it again to do it next season. Like, it's a never-ending cycle because the last previous season, mid-season, we had collapses. Now, this one is epic. However, it's happening. And as a club, you cannot sit there. Even as a fan, even if as the biggest Allegri supporter, whatever you want to call it, and you're like one of those people saying it's more on the players and less to one Allegri, which, whatever, if you think that, that's fine. Even then, you cannot say, and you know how football works. The coach has always the final say. You know, if it's not good enough, the coach will replace. You cannot sit there and say he can turn this around because besides the quality issue, 
this clearly is a mentality issue. The players have checked out, and the coach has no grip on it. You can see it from the facial expressions that the players are not happy what they're doing. They're not convinced what they need to do. They're not fighting for it. There's no hard, like the, the basic passion words is not there besides the qual quality. And it's it's sad to watch. Like when, you, when you're watching it, you're like, oh man, what are we watching right now? Even the game against Lazio, it was like, what are we actually watching? The previous game, Cagliari, like what even is this? Like, what, what is this right now? It feels so disjointed. It feels like there's no improvement. There feel, it feels like there's no um, light at the end of the tunnel. It's just tunnel, and that's it. So, as a club, you cannot sit there and be like, oh, we can, we can do it. We can go one more year. Because that will be the biggest turnaround in history right now. It would. You know, after three seasons, if he stays and he wins something, or he actually pushes into to the final day, whatever, that would be the biggest turnaround ever. Nobody saw that coming. Not even he would see that coming, in my opinion. I think he will be sitting there and be like, what just happened? I don't believe what just happened. So as a club, I think the decision is very easy. Yes, new to players need to be changed, but also the coaching, because this is about mindset. And also this is about, we're just not good. You know, we don't look like a team. We don't play football at all. It's very basic, the things we do. Very often you see... A good thing where you're like, wow, that looks good. But we'd never replicate that. And even if we replicate that, it's for 10 minutes. And then we're like, okay, it's done. We kind of move on right now. So that being said, I'm not saying it's a done deal. Mota's going to be the next, co next coach. But it should be a done deal that there is going to be a new coach. Whoever that's going to be, that's up for the club to make a decision. But staying should be no option. It should be no option, you know. Because if you don't think those players are good enough, I believe that. But we're not going to replace 21 players. It's just not going to happen. So you will be sitting there and be like, you got three, four new players, and I'll turn it completely around. That seems like one gigantic ask that it's just, it doesn't feel realistic, let's be honest. So um, weird reporting, weird, weird reporting. I think it's time is over. I think it will be confirmed by the club. I'm not 100% sure, like I said, it's going to be Thiago Monta because... You're never 100%. Like, it feels so... Oh, it's a given. It's going to be multi. It feels so easy that it doesn't feel 100% real right now. So, but that's that's a topic we can talk... Like, that's why I'm not talking about coaches or, like, I want this coach, I want that coach because it's still a bit pointless right now. Motta's fighting for Champions League. We are doing that Coppa Italia final. It's weird that these reports are out there and that's what I said. I think uh, agents and clubs are pushing back and basically saying, okay... This is getting out of hand right now. We're still fighting for certain things. It doesn't feel right towards the fans of both clubs to do these things, especially Bologna in this case. But let's see. Um, I don't think he's going to say. I will be absolutely stunned and I'll probably record a video saying nothing for eight minutes. Just just sit, sit here and be like, what the hell just happened? But let's see what will happen. It's still early. We still need to wait a couple of more weeks before we can actually uh, delve into it. Uh, but that's it for me. Like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys later tonight. Ciao.